3030 green light. Modern flight decks are loaded with technology. But as Alaska Airlines pilots Jim Freeman and Brian Holm land this 737 simulator, they also rely on paper technology, like maps. In fact, pilots have long been shackled to paperwork. Flight bags like this can weigh 40 pounds or more. So this is a, a high altitude and route chart, and then actual airport specific approach charts. But what if you could take all this and put it in an iPad? What we've set up is a 400 megabyte file which contains all the essential uh, manuals and information we feel the pilot needs. Right now, the Federal Aviation Administration is approved using the iPad for manuals, reference works like the location of buttons and switches in the cockpit. This is a real live uh, situation from oh, two or three days ago. On the ground, they can download weather information, this showing storms in the Midwest. The FAA still needs to approve using the iPad for navigational charts. They want to make sure this electronic paper is going to always be available. Do you have backups? It's the paper that's becoming the backup. Right now, Alaska pilots will only use the iPad above 10,000 feet and on the ground, but they're already finding it easier to flip through electronic pages. Your decision making is, is phenomenal with a device like this. About three-fourths of Alaska's pilots have the iPads now, and the rest should be getting them very soon. At SeaTac, Len Farley, King 5 News.